Hi, my name is Steve McGuinness and I'm conducting my PhD research in the lab of Professor Veronica Campbell here in Trinity College Institute of Neuroscience. So the focus of my research is the potential role of the endocannabinoid system in Alzheimer's disease. So let me explain. Alzheimer's disease is a chronic progressive illness characterized by widespread loss of cells in the brain called neurons. Neurons in the area of the brain responsible for memory are particularly affected, which explains the cognitive decline associated with the disease. Death of these neurons is thought to be caused by the action of small toxic aggregates of a protein called amyloid beta, which are called plaques. These plaques gather around neurons and cause them to die. So what's happening? In the midst of a host of damaging events is the lysosome, the recycling centre of the cell. The lysosome contains a number of chemicals called enzymes which break down the waste of the cell. Because the lysosome is surrounded by a membrane, this process is kept safely within the confines of the organelle. However, in Alzheimer's disease, the presence of the plaque set in motion a chain of damaging events which leads to the breakdown of the all-important membrane and spillage of the lysosomal contents into the neuron which causes it to die. This is where the endocannabinoid system comes in. Cannabinoids are signaling molecules that bind to specialised cannabinoid receptors in the brain. A commonly known cannabinoid is tetrahydrocannabinol, which is responsible for the psychoactive effects of marijuana. However, the brain also secretes its own natural cannabinoids called endocannabinoids, which also act upon these receptors. Two of the most commonly known are anandamide and tuarachidonol glycerol. It has been previously found that these chemicals can halt the breakdown of the lysosome in Alzheimer's disease. At the moment we're analysing brain tissue in which we have mimicked the conditions induced by Alzheimer's disease and we've then treated it with an endocannabinoid drug. And what we're trying to figure out is how and at what time endocannabinoids can prove protective in Alzheimer's disease. It is estimated, taking into account the projected increase in size of older populations, that by 2050 the worldwide prevalence of Alzheimer's disease will have reached almost 100 million. As such, the need for greater understanding of the molecular events underlying the disease, as well as the development of novel therapeutic tools, should not be underestimated. It's my hope that my research will contribute to this as of yet unmet need.